I mean, some things uh, actually what we did, some things what we wish we have done, but we are learning, we, we do it. It's a knowledge you need to learn, and it's special to build a company in China. First, just give some simple introduction about Mailtech. And just like I said, we do, uh, actually we do the power and communication chips for the smart grid, and at the same time also we provide a system solution, not only for the smart grid, and also the building management, energy efficient management, and also we are considered one of the cleaning tech companies. So actually here, today, I'm talking more about it. Actually, what we learned or did and build a company in China. And just like when we do a startup, I mean, here we we'll talk about clean tech. We, first, it's a startup and all clean tech and also in China. A three of them, like, just like mountains, I mean, how to get over that. I mean, when we do, do a startup, definitely, I mean, we, it's, we all work before, work with other people, and do a startup, and you suddenly change. At the beginning, you have lunch, and you, I mean, you have a family support. Um, so you have to do, determine what do you want to do or not. At the same time, you need a definite why? What a startup? Why, why you want to do it? And definitely, you need a solid project and also the business plan. And also, business you have to believe by yourself and you have to believe it because you want to provide other people support you. And also, you need your capital where you, you can get it. And as a founder, actually, you have to be, I mean, learning one to determine. And you can convince other people to join you and your partnership with you. And so for my company, we started basically have my own company, money, also a couple of friends get money, then we just get started. And then we did a budget. And especially at that time, actually, that's nine years ago, in China, it still were cheap, not, not anymore. I mean, at that time, you can just have a half million dollars, you can really start a company and do a couple of years. And of course, I mean, after that, and basically then we got, first we did, a, I mean, that 2004, at that time, the capital investment, they want not only the concept, they need a product, so we did a product pool that we were actually better technology wise. We had patents much better than what existing. So then the investors like DFJ, they came in. And just like a pair of just saying something in Chinese, right? When you start a startup, actually you need a lot of things. You need everything, you need your determination, you need a resource, and of course you need a team. Um, just like everything. Actually when you do a startup, I mean first you need to find I mean, good partners. I mean the partner is like a, I mean first you, we share a long-term goal together. I mean, it's because it's a, what we are doing, a clean tech especially is not like do an internet or do it, uh, I mean, web page. You learn it, it's a long-term goal, not only need a partner with a long-term goal, and also you, you need to find, find the investors. They believe a long-term is not like you want to turn around, in two years you can get it, exit in IPOs. And then I think also, partner is important in that especially, I mean, selling money, I think it's easy. I was worked there. So everybody work together, I mean, you have a common goal, but in China, especially, the only really, really selective partners be, 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 be more careful because a lot of things that not only you need to share, I mean, same value, I mean, that means business practice and ethics, I mean, how to do it is really work together for same goal. It's a, it's a tough one. And uh, if you go there as a company, and uh, we can talk a lot more about that. A lot of things that, I mean, actually, partner-wise, we be, I mean, people thought, oh, you, if both, you have the same you know, some company, some marketing, some technology. Actually, I, after a couple, I work a few um, startups, and I started my own, I learned my lesson that actually you, what you find, it's finding partner is that actually you have, I mean, you have an advantage, you have a short, short partners, actually, complementary is much better than just say, uh, both the uh, same as strong partner, because at the beginning, you have limited resource, you learn each other, if us can work together, help each other, and support each other, you, I mean, Contribute instead of say everything got the same, everybody got the same strengths. That's not a good thing. At the end, actually, when afterwards, maybe that's a good thing. Of course, I'm just like uh, as well as I take everybody. When you're a manager, the partner, sometimes, I mean, the strong part is always good, but a weak part can tolerate that. I mean, that's why in Latin, was when you when I say if you try to get a boss, I mean, punishing that can tolerate his weakness. But when you get, we, I mean, it's like if a weakness you cannot tolerate, you shouldn't work for this guy because you cannot change that. But if you try to hire somebody, I mean, you look for his strong point. Because if weakness, you can just say, don't do that, or you can ignore that. You ask him to do what I want to do. So that's it. So that's, that's a basically, I mean, few, I mean, principles. I mean, what I did with my partner is we try to build a core team. I mean, just like I said, I mean, I mean, so you need to produce a business plan. You, you have to be it by yourself. If you don't be yourself, I mean, there's no way to convince anybody. And of course, I mean, a lot of things you need to, I mean, you try to, if you cannot convince anybody, I mean, you'll be yourself. I mean, you have to work hard to do it. Just like myself, I have my partners, 
first couple of years, we didn't take any salaries, and we had to support our family. We just say we had to prove it, we believe it. You know, you try to go out, I mean, persuade other people, it's tough to do. And also, the last thing you had to believe, say, what do you want to do? Because investors, they look differently, and they want us to do something different. But from my experience, we said, you have to do what you, we believe. So instead of taking investment, do something we don't want to do, we want to do something what we want to do. And I think the second thing you have to can take, because uh, I'm asking here, I mean, can take just like the talk about the Internet of Things, a lot of definitions, what can take? People talk about, I mean, solar power or wind power. Actually, can take is a journey, I mean, it's about concepts, what can take? Just like, that's what it took us a long, long time actually to persuade people, persuade people I mean, also especially Chinese government, to recognize us. Also, we do energy management. Actually, we make the energy more efficient. That's also part of, big part of can intake. At the beginning, I mean, I just say, here I just said, to talk about new energy, can intake, always talk, like I said. And then move now, people are energy efficient. And also, now I actually it's a can intake, also how to do a department. Washington again now, they, the can intake, actually, the concept, the growth, just people talk about actually, I mean, last year, maybe change it, 2012, actually, a lot of people, in, I mean, our time and investment on can intake, actually, go with, um, go, actually, take about something like 70%. But actually, I mean, people thought, oh, that's a huge amount of money. Actually, it's not, because can intake, I'm um, also say, what, what is the cover, also, go. Actually, what you are working on that can intake, just like summer, maybe actually the funding is not as much as before. So it's like, a, now can intake, can intake cover everything, like solar power complication, as, well, as design, also we have complications. Actually, I mean, if it, also we do a management, we also monitor solar power, we do, a, I mean, a, a lot of things. And even some investors now, I mean, actually, are going farming, and also the, those things also can, can intake, because all the things, I mean, the undercover can intake. You saw the investment is huge, but actually what getting in, into your, your hands, maybe not as big as you would like to see. Start when, when company is, I mean, it's market is huge, but what you can do, that's most important. Because when you start a company, actually, you are served, let's say, I mean, you look at the market, it's nice, but if you serve, what do you do? I mean, let's say, I mean, last thing that you had to find out, let's say, I mean, what, what kind of, what field are you, you are working on? I mean, so, some is solar power. I mean, what if, I mean, for, for Matic, what are you working on? Actually, it's a complicated technology for power line that's which most convenient, actually, efficient way to do energy management. I mean, three next to power lines. And then you want to see this market, what the stage it is, and also what's our advantage is. And uh, at last thing that it was, so you either figure out actually not a short term and mid term and long term. I mean, what, what, what are your, your business, or what are your, your field, or you expand it into it? Is it expand it in the mainstream, or you just uh, always stay with the niche market? I think that's a, our investor, just uh, DFG and uh, Intel and uh, Chin Capital, they gave us a lot of good advice. And uh, we, my partner, it's pretty good. I mean, basically, not only that, long term wise, we only, not only for the smart grid and also getting the edge management and uh, down, down the road, actually, edge management become an information service. I mean, that's what I should believe it's the main, mainstream, and also we can expand our market quite well. And the last thing, of course, last but the most difficult one is, I mean, we talk about if you start a company in China, I mean, other things different. That's what actually we learned the hard way, I mean, because I worked in the U.S. I mean, when I graduated from college, I went to the U.S., get my master's and PhD, I worked at Silicon Valley. And I'm glad I actually, before I started my company, I went back, I actually worked with our people together for a few years different companies, and then some business, but still, I mean, it's tough. And uh, you always believe there's say, technology, everything, I mean, thinking about it, if you've got the best technology, you can get, get your market. But in general, actually, it may, may not be too. I mean, just say, percentage at the beginning, the relationship is more important than your product, but at the end, actually, definitely, of course, you should have a good product. And uh, in addition that, I mean, actually, to be honest, be anywhere, everywhere, relationship is important, but in general, it's just, more special, and uh, and actually that I mean also the relationship is not a bad term. I mean some sometimes they put it not bad. I mean, but also actually that if actually if understand each other, I mean it's better for me. I'm, I'm lucky because I graduated from Tsinghua, so I have a good alumni network there, and uh, in the sense that we go a lot of time and work together, we go through. I mean the first stage. I mean it's a mutual trust there. So that's, that's something that, I mean, I will, we will rely on. And, uh, and I think that, I mean, when you have relationship, you can easily 
build it and find the right people, and also you have a, you can get a partnership, and also that's what you need. I mean, when studying in China, that you also want to do. I mean, especially the, for the clean tech for this kind of things, it's very important to work with government. Also, government policy is very important. So you you need to know there are a big plan from government, and also you I mean a lot of the market we are doing is controlled by not only government, and also government. I mean the the company is actually it's beyond the government. So you you need to know the policy, and uh, also you need to know what the now industry what what can they move and what the market and what, where the money is. And the last thing that when you, when you start a company, do you go company go there? China is like because of cheap labor or what? Actually. You have to think, think why you want to start a company, a company in China. For us, actually, we found out the first few years seems like it's cheaper, but now actually for R&D in China, it's not. It's actually it's more, in, more expensive maybe than Singapore and in Taiwan. But what, why we stay in China is that because our market is there. Actually, support the market and cost support those things cost actually. I mean, it's much cheaper than you stay outside. But at the same time, of course, now, I mean, we try to expand internationally in the US. Our trouble is that because the local force cannot support that. So in the future, we're going to expand our, ourselves into North America so we can support the, the, our, our market. So it really depends on what you want to do, what stage you want to do. So you have to think about why you want to start a channel, or you, maybe you, you should start some other places. So we're thinking about in the future R&D, maybe expand in Singapore or in Taiwan, those places actually is better. I mean, R&D side, but definitely customer support and the product of the market, I think, generally still the best place at this moment. And I think that, I mean, it's like you work with the, I mean, in general, actually, you need to understand the government, you need to support at the same time, you need to understand why they want you. I mean, we when there's a few places, I'm government, definitely, they, they have a, I mean, each place is, I mean, they, they want different things, but the government, the two things they, they definitely want, they want their, Local, each government, even so huge government, but each local government have their own agenda. They want their own deployment, you want the foreign investment, that's one thing. And that definitely, you want a tax revenue incentive. Because of that, you can use that advantage for yourself. And the uh, last thing that definitely, I mean, actually, the labor force now, I mean, I mean college students, so every year, I mean, few millions graduate. Most people, they couldn't find a job. So at the same time, if you, I mean, for the, for us, like a high-tech company, they want us to move there so we can get hire more people like that. And uh, so uh, now, what's the government policy now, the environment, the energy saving, so all things, I mean, for the Kenyan tech company, actually the opportunity, it's in, in there, but uh, you need to learn how to work with the government. That's like one very, I mean, especially in China, that's one of the very important things. If you work in China, I mean, you need to, I mean, it's not a only business anymore. It's politics. It's it's everything. So it's kind of like it, you know, you have to deal with the local law. Some it's just policy. You, I mean, people cannot tell the difference between law and the policies. So you need to take a while. I mean, to get used to it. And if any foreigner goes there, it's best you get some local partners. Of course, the local party has some somebody you really trust or share some. Maybe, I mean, the local, the low local, but the shares of other values, business practice, everything else had to come with you. And the very important is that, I mean, when you start a company there, uh, it's, you cannot just a few guys from, uh, from the US or from Singapore and Taiwan go there. It's better build a local team. I mean, for me, it's kind of lucky because I've been working there a few companies a long time, so I can build a local team other than myself. Everybody else just go locally. So, and at the same time, we try to build a company, basically some business practice, I mean, if you walk into my company, if you guys any time go to Shanghai, can wait company, you walk in there, you look like a Silicon Valley company, or work like a Silicon Valley company. But at the same time, it's very important to have a local company to work. You don't have a company separate, like say, have different cultures. You're from, from foreign, from, I mean, they, they work together instead of, let's say, they look different. China, sometimes you get so either you speak loud or you just keep quiet, but you need to speak loud sometimes. Just something you say, you feel like you cannot change, actually, you, you can. And uh, just latest, just a few things because the high tech companies there, because labor laws, something just make it very tough to do R and D there. But it, and people say you shouldn't speak up. Actually, speak up, you only really get some feedback because the channel now, the government is changing. They also they want to get some feedback. They want to find out why the high tech companies never can go there. So actually, it's a 
it's all complicated. Well, of course, you have a project system, it has to be, you cannot change that, but sometimes you slowly, but change the way how they do it. I think that's, that's how you make the channel change. You need to speak up. You just, if you keep mouth shut, you can never get something done. Again, just like I said, I mean, it's very difficult in China, but at the same time, when you look around the world, actually China is still one of the best opportunities there. And uh, I think that, uh, if you do it, not only the market, and they also have some resource and some policies. And now, as, as I was said, everybody, I mean, if a, I mean, a company, right, the second one is something you say, oh, it's easy, but actually, sometimes if something's wrong, your company goes down, but in general, you, can, you always can find some way, have some solutions. If you can make some mistake, you can find some other way to fix it, give you more opportunities, and uh, you, you have, so it, every place you have good, good things, bad things, but, I mean, I believe this moment, China is a, is a market, it's worth definitely to invest, and also worth have companies started there, and you have a good opportunity waiting for you. And I actually want to say something, because today, what happened in Boston, um, I actually started a marathon last year. Affairs were, were bad, and uh, there, but anyway, my daughter is there, and she almost went there, and she almost went there today to watch, but she decided to stay. That's a good thing for her. And uh, so anyway, I feel, I feel pretty bad today, but. I hope, I mean, hope everything is okay, but we'll keep learning.